Hello! Here is my official introduction of my Coleman Columbia, which originally was a pop-up canvas camper. My dad and I converted it to be a permanent hard side with the siding as a vinyl board and batten um, and also a vinyl stone piece, which we had to use actually because we ran out of the board and batten, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, I'll show you the outside first. At the front of my trailer, I have my battery and my propane tank, um, and then a little exterior light, which is battery powered. Pretty handy in the nighttime. And then I'll take you around the side. Also, I do have my wide angle lens on just to give a broader perspective. All right. So here is one of my few windows. It's actually a plastic dome. And now it's kind of an ironic joke between my dad and I, cause it was supposed to come a bit bigger than that, but the full moon looks really cool when you see it through the dome. So it lets a little light in and I think it adds a bit of character. So here's the backside, another window. So this is the left side of my camper, also the side with all my utilities. I have my electrical cord, uh, my water box, which I can fill my tank or hook up to running water. And then here I have my fridge vent. Um, that one also is a vent up top. But um, yeah, I can take that cap off and access the controls. And there's an extra outlet also. And then here I have my furnace vent with the little screen so bugs can't get in. So that's pretty much the outside. Pretty simple, pretty basic for a camper. Um, and then I can take you on to the inside. Okay, so coming in, this is what you see. So obviously I got my little switch here, a couple hooks for storage, and then here's the inside view of my little dome. So I got a little piece of metal cut out to fit in that space, and then I just glued on a piece of burlap rope to cover the seam. And then I got my bed. It's just a regular twin size mattress. So underneath my bed I have two pull out drawers. Um, these were just wooden bins I got at Menards, and I sanded them, stained them, and put a nice finish on them. So just for whatever storage, clothes, shoes, towels, pants, apparently. And then my bed does lift up, so I'll attempt to show you that. got a little metal ring which is attached to the piece of plywood which my mattress sits on so I just kind of lift that up and then, oh, and then I got a little post stick underneath which I prop up my bed on so here is my bed once it's been propped up I just keep my toolbox some extra rope um, my jack a machete, my little storage bins again, some extra space back here. And then there is my electrical box. That little cover just unscrews and comes off to access that there. And then over on the right side, I have my water tank, as you can see, which I fill with the big white hose there. Um, and then the smaller white hose on the left comes down and comes directly out of the faucet when I hook up to running water. And then I have my electrical cord there, which kind of just winds up over on the left in that space. 
and I have my water pump. We put some like thermal insulation padding in there just to help keep everything insulated and just something to prevent freezing. Yeah, so my little under the bed storage. In the original layout, there was a little ledge. So we just used a panel from the floor and covered that up with some trim. And then here, this little switch is actually for my outside light. I'll show you that. Just right under there. With my grimy step. Um, and then we'll come over to the little kitchenette area. So I just got my sink here, which it is hooked up to the pump right now, coming from my water tank. <laughs> um, and then I have my little gas range stove top. So this just comes out, props up here, and then closes back again like this. And then down below, I have another little pantry kind of area. I just keep extra dishes, silverware, whatever. And then I have my little gas furnace here. My little fridge, which I think I mentioned is gas or electric. Some extra storage underneath. My little mirror, which actually is a medicine cabinet. couple pots and pan hooks, another outlet, my thermostat here when I'm using my furnace. Um, this little table actually, oh, kind of countertop I would say, folds down, but it's kind of tricky. So I usually just keep it up though because it is pretty sturdy and I haven't had issues with it while pulling my trailer or anything. So this corner cabinet here actually was made from a recycled cabinet that I got online from a couple who had just an extra, I guess, from their kitchen. Um, so as you can see, the door was used there. And also most of the wood used on the frame and on the bottom part of that shelf in there were from that cabinet. So that was pretty cool. I got it for, I think, $15. We did have to build a frame and stain it um, to match, but I think it blends pretty well. But the shelves are from the cabinet itself. And my flooring here, I actually got outside of a garage sale for free. And it's this nice bamboo flooring, a very cool find. So yeah, I think I touched on pretty much everything in the space. Oh, also I have another battery powered the light here. So this light here, my furnace, my fridge, my water pump, um, my little outside light, all can be powered from the battery, which I have a solar panel that I use to power and keep the battery charged. Um, so that's really great if you want to go off grid for a couple days. So I think that kind of concludes the little tour that I wanted to make of my camper. Um, it was a very long process very intimidating process. It's a masterpiece. I'm so proud of it. I feel like it really reflects who I am and I'm so grateful to have had such a amazing mentor in the building process, which is my dad. I mostly wanted it to be strong, you know, well insulated and sturdy, safe space for me to be asleep, you know, just to have that space. I'm so excited for all the places that it's going to go with me and the experiences that I will have with it with friends and I plan to share more content around this camper and there's so much that I'm leaving out about the building process and the materials used and um, too many things to mention in one video so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments. I would love to answer them. Maybe I can do a part two at some point. Yeah, I think that pretty much concludes it. Thanks for tuning in and checking out my space. 
I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you around. <laughs>